The meter rule is the measuring instrument used in the physics laboratory to measure the length of various objects. The device is calibrated from zero centimeter, which has chopped off, you see one centimeter, two, three, up to the end of it, where we have 97 centimeters, 98, 99, and here it is written one meter, one M. The end has also been partially chopped off. That is one M, one meter. Measurements taken with the meter rule are susceptible to two types of errors. And what are those two types of errors? These are zero scale error and parallax error. Zero scale error is also referred to as zero error. Zero error occurs if when you are taking the measurements of an object, you start from the zero mark of it. And that could introduce an error into your measurement. Let's take for instance, I'm um, to measure the length of this box using the meter rule. How will I do that while putting zero error into consideration? Because the measurements I will take must be free from any kind of error. Otherwise, my measurements will be considered inaccurate. Now this is the box. This is my meter rule. Instead of me st st to start taking my reading from the zero mark, I will start from one. This is what I mean. This is my meter rule. You can see the zero mark has, the zero mark is not really there anymore. So if I start from this point, I'm likely to get a wrong value. So what I will do in this case is that I will shift my measurement up to the other mark, which is this mark of one centimeter. And then I will do it. See, I'm starting from one and I read my value at the end. At this point, I have 15.8 centimeters. That is what I have at the end. I have 15.8 centimeters. Please check it out to confirm as well. Look at that, you can see that's 15.8 centimeters. Now that is the reading I have at the end. Mind you, I did not start from zero. I started from one. So to get my accurate reading, I will say 15.8 minus one centimeters. You know, I started from one centimeter. I did not start from zero. So I will have eight points. I have four. I have one. Hence, the real length of this box is 15.8 centimeter. That is how to eliminate zero error in my measurement. The second kind of error that we put into consideration is parallax error. Parallax error occurs if, when I'm taking the measurements of the length of this object, I do not start from, I did not view the meter rule from a vertical position. I come to a side to view it, or I come to the other side to view it. But my eyes must be along a vertical line with the mark I am reading. Let's take, for instance, I want to take the length of this tile from this end to this end. I place my meter rule. I will not start from zero. Of course, I will start from one because I'm trying to eliminate zero scale error. Now, this, there's a stain here, but it should not have any difference. Okay, let's take the reading. 
I'm viewing the meter roll from the vertical top of it. So you can see this line is in line with the, with the one centimeter mark. It's in line with the one centimeter mark. Now let me come to the end of it. I must also view it from the vertical top, from a vertical position. Here I have 20.9 centimeters. Is in between 20.9 and 21, so I take that as 20.95 centimeters. This is how to eliminate parallax error. Here I have 20.95 centimeters. So the real length of this tile is what? 20.95 minus 1.00. Here I have 5, here I have 9, decimal point, bring 1 here, 10 minus 1, I have 9, I have removed 1 here, so I put it here, this is 19.95 centimeters. If I had not viewed this material from the vertical top of it, I would have gotten a wrong value. Let's take for instance, look at this. This is the starting point. It's on one. Now look at it. This is the end point. Have I shifted this? This is the starting point. It's on one. Let me check it again. Sorry. The starting point is on one centimeters. The end of it, this is 21. What happened? Did I shift this? Oh, this has been shifted. Good. The starting point is on one. The end point, 20.95. While I view it from the vertical position. You know you are viewing it from a vertical position if your eyes is directly above it. Now if I had come to a side of it to read the length, what would I end up with? I would end up with 20.7. Once I subtract one, which is my zero correction factor from 20.7, I would end up with 19.7, which is a wrong value. Doubt is a wrong value. And if I had come to the other end, to the right end, to view my reading, you can see what we have here. This is 21.4. That is parallax error. When you come to a side to read your value. So, your reading must be taken from a position which is directly above what you are reading. And that is how I got 20 point, 21 point, sorry. That's how I got 20.95, from which I subtracted one centimeter, which is a zero correction factor, and I got 19.95. And that is how to take a reading with your meter rule while putting parallax error and zero scale error into consideration. Thank you.